my, my message is for young people in Cambodia. I like to share my own experience and how I became a scientist, how science uh, I, is everywhere in my life. When I eat, when I sleep, when I play, science is everywhere. And I'm quite happy being a scientist because actually practicing science and living within science is a matter of attitude. Uh, it's come very in my very early uh, uh, childhood. You know, we, I was very lucky in Cambodia to have parents who are very liberal. My mother was a teacher. She taught me how to draw maps, put colors on the map, that geography, the science also. My father was an engineer, forestry, so he taught me about uh, natural science, biodiversity, from environment, from the very, very early phase of my life. And I study medicine, so therefore I use chemistry, physics, uh, mathematics, and I choose a specialty that is very scientific. It's called radiology in the past, Medical imaging, you have heard what ultrasound for babies, CT scan for the head when you have a head trauma. All this is about physics and the human body anatomy. Um, I work on experiments using mice. I work on a clinical research looking at diseases in a human being, how to detect diseases. And not only I use science in my practice as a physician uh, in Canada, in Europe, in Singapore, where I taught for almost 30 years. Science also, I, I think, permeate all my activities during holidays. For many years, I was obsessed by a study of an ancient skeleton from museum, from burial site. I study Egyptian mummies. Very interesting to look how mummies from the past uh, disease what they have. Uh, I published a book on that. So my, my wife always asked me, why do you do this kind of thing? It's about a passion about science. Uh, science can be also applied to many other fields with, be outside medicine. I was uh, doing uh, research on the history of medicine at Angkor under King Jayaman VII, and I did archaeology also, medical archaeology. So I used the uh, principle of science to excavate those uh, medieval hospitals that were built in the 13th century. Uh, lately, before I came to Cambodia, I was the director of a division of human health at the International Atomic Energy Agency uh, when the Fukushima nuclear disaster happened, occurred. So again, as a scientist, I was sent there to look at uh, the possible implication of radiation on environment and on uh, hu uh, and human. So again, science is everywhere. You live every day, every day. People ask you, uh, how do you protect yourself from the radiation from an accident like this? But we should know also that beyond this specific area of accident, we live surrounded by radiation, natural radiation. We, all of us, got radiation. When you fly from Phnom Penh to Siem Reap, from Phnom Penh to France, you get cosmic radiation. So if you don't understand science, it's difficult to co comprehend uh, uh, what is going in your life because technology is everywhere. You look at your, your, own, day, uh, your own life, for example. Before you go to sleep, what is the, the last uh, object you touch? You know? is your cell phone. In the morning you wake up, sadly it's not your partner, but your cell phone that you touch first. So this is one thing. When you go to eat, uh, you know, a, a food uh, safety is an issue in Cambodia because sometimes it's not that good as we expected. So food chemistry, if you understand the science, you understand better. Uh, so how uh, would you help uh, young people to enter a uh, scientific uh, a career in the future? I think it's a role of a parents first before they go to school you you can expose your children you know go to this kind of a science museum i agree that we don't have that in cambodia you can look at youtube there are many virtual uh, technical uh, and uh, science museum fascinating uh, i saw on on tv here you have program on discovery natural geographic when i, di I did the excavation in in siem reap and in the Kadamo mountain looking at ancient skeleton we did a, a, a kind of documentary for natural geographic. So in some science, it's very exciting. You can use science uh, as a career. I make a living practicing science, but you can use science to understand the world around you.